Leslie here with Jimra. Welcome to Yoga Sculpt. So we will not need any equipment for this class. It's gonna be all body weight exercises and a nice yoga flow. We'll get started lying down on our backs today. You're welcome to set yourself up in any supine shape that feels nice for you. I know for myself, I like to start with the soles of the feet together and the knees wide just to get that nice little gentle hip opening at the beginning. If you want to start in a savasana, that is also fine, no problem. Listen to what your body needs. And just take a moment here to settle in, to slow down the breath, to land on your mat. And we'll start by taking a cleansing breath. Take a nice, slow, deep inhale, fill up your lungs. Open the mouth, exhale, sigh all the air out of the body. <sighs> and then seal the lips and start to deepen the breath and come into ujjayi breathing. So slightly constrict the muscles in the back of the throat. And start to cultivate a smooth and steady rhythm for your practice today. Really hear the sound of the breath. So slightly, you can slightly constrict the muscles in the back of the throat and make the breathing steady and smooth, long, deep inhales and exhales. One of the things that makes the yoga practice so unique is this breath connection. And let your rhythm of breath guide you as we start to move through the physical shapes. Next inhale, stretch the legs long, take the arms up and over the head, reach fingers to your toes. And then as you exhale, give yourself a squeeze, hug those knees into the chest, rock side to side a few times, massage the lower back. And then as you inhale, take both legs straight up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend your knees, legs into tabletop position. Inhale here, and as you exhale, take your knees over to the right, but don't let them touch. Inhale back to center and then exhale knees to the left. Inhale back to center, so don't let them touch. If you need a little more support, you can actually take the arms wide, palms facing down. So linking every movement to a breath and just starting to connect to your core. If you need more challenge, you can take the legs straight. Take one more round each side, right and left. Come back to the center with your tabletop legs. Inhale, stretch the arms over the head and exhale, curl and crunch, reach those hands forward. Inhale, reach back, exhale to crunch. Again, linking the movement to the breath, nice and slow. I just want you to start to get connected to that core, warming it up. Inhales to come back, exhales to curl up. Stay connected to your rhythm. Last 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind the legs, start to rock up and back on the spine until you can rock up to a boat pose. So we are not done yet. Meet me in a boat pose right here or right here if you need more challenge. Belly tight. Listen, we're gonna do toe taps, so you're gonna tap the right toes and the left toes. If you want to do it with straight legs, you can tap the right leg, tap the left leg, that's a lot. And then low boat and high boat. So it's tap, tap, low boat, high boat. Tap, tap, inhale, exhale. Keep going for five, four, Three, two, one. Land in the high boat and then hands behind the knees, rock up and back, cross the ankles, meet me in a plank pose, top of a push up. 
strong in your plank. So really get nice and strong. Knit those ribs together. Press the mat away. Pull navel to spine. Lower belly in and up. Hold it for five. Gaze forward. Neck is in line with the rest of the spine. Four. Three. Two. Listen on one. Knees down and meet me in a tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrist. Knees in line with your hip. Three rounds of cat cow. Inhale. Drop the belly. Arch the spine. Look up. Exhale to round. Two more times. Inhale. Drop. Arch. Look up. Exhale to round. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Back to a neutral spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, take your forearms down onto the mat and interlock all 10 fingers so you're in a forearm tabletop. Take that right leg and extend it all the way to the back of the mat. And as you inhale, I just want you to lift that right leg as high as you can get it. And then as you exhale, pull the right knee in to meet the right tricep. Lift it all the way back up to the sky and lower it back down. That's one full rep. We've got nine more of those. So it's lift, pull in, up and down. Eight, tricep, up and down. Seven, tricep, up and down. Six, tricep, up and down. Five, tricep, up and down. Four, tricep, up and down. Last three, up, tricep, up and down. Two more, lift, tricep, up, and down, last one, lift it up, pull it in, take it up, lower it down. Tuck your right toes, step your left foot back and find a forearm plank. Belly in nice and tight. And then I just want you to start to bring the big toes together so they touch, shift the weight forward and back. Forward and back, dig your elbows into the mat, keep breathing for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the interlock and then lower the hips down so you're in a sphinx pose. Great, good work. Make sure shoulders stay away from the ears and press those forearms down into the mat. Maybe close the eyes here and reset the breath. Nice and steady in and out through the nose. Great job. Lower your chest and shoulders down onto the mat. And if you can, bring your big toes together so they touch. If you have lower back issues, you're welcome to have a little bit of space between the feet. Lock your legs into place. Take your fingertips outside of the mat so the elbows poke up. And we'll take five rounds of this little cobra variation. So inhale, peel your chest up, and then exhale, come down. Four, three, two, one, good job. Now take your hands in so that they're right next to your ribs and your elbows poke up like little grasshopper wings. Peel your head, chest, and shoulders up off of the mat. Take your, keep your gaze down so the neck stays nice and long. Firmly press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Hover your hands one inch off of the mat. Squeeze those shoulder blades nice and strong. And then you'll just extend those arms back, palms face up. Rebend the elbows back to that 90 degree angle. We've got nine more, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover the hands and then place them down. And then if you can, press into an upward facing dog. So press the tops of the feet down, shoulders away from the ears, belly tight. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog. If you can, roll over those toes and lift those hips up and back. Nice job. Pedal out your dog, bend right knee, bend left knee, get some movement going. Steady in the breath. And then find some stillness, lengthen your tailbone to the sky, keep the belly drawing in and up, navel to your spine. So we stay connected to the core throughout the entire practice. No Never, never lose the connection to that core. So always drawing the navel in and up, lower belly in and up. From this down dog, roll forward like a wave. Inhale to a plank pose and then exhale to down dog. We'll do that four more times. Inhale like a wave, roll it forward. Exhale to down dog. Three more, inhale with the breath. 
exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Drop those forearms down onto the mat and you're in a dolphin pose. Go ahead and interlock all 10 fingers, just like we did in that forearm tabletop. And we're taking dolphin push-ups here. So you'll be here in the down dog with the forearms down, and then take a breath in, and as you exhale, you'll bring your chin and tap it outside of your knuckles, and then press back. Sorry, it's an inhale forward and an exhale back. So let's do that four more times. Inhale, tap, exhale, back, inhale, and exhale, just two more. Inhale and exhale, just one more. Inhale and exhale, good job. Keep your forearms, just bring your knees down so you're back in that forearm tabletop. If you need to adjust a little bit, no problem. And then let's do that left side. So go ahead and take the left leg back to the back of the mat, toes point. The movement is a leg up, pull it in, tricep all the way back up and all the way down. Nine more, up in, up, and down. Eight, squeeze that leg, up, and down. Seven, dig your forearms down, up, and down. Six, pull in, up, and down. Five, up, and down. Last four, up, and down. Just three more, up, pull it in, go up, come down, two more, up, pull in, Go up, come down, last one, lift, squeeze, up and down. Tuck your left toes and then step that right foot back to meet your left. Find your forearm plank, bring your big toes together so that they touch. Keep the belly pulling in and up. Breathe and hold. This time, actually take your feet to hips with distance and we'll do some oblique dips here. So you'll drop the heels to the right, dip down, and up, heels to center, to the left, dip the hips, and up, keep going. So right, dip, and up, left, dip, and up. It's really up to you how fast or slow that you go. Stay with it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Make sure you even out both sides and then lower your hips into Sphinx Pose. Release the interlock of the hands and press those forearms down and pause to breathe. If you need a little more stretch here, you should be breathing always, but slow down the breath if you lost it. If you need more stretch, hands to the corners of the mat for Seal Pose and straighten the arms. Nice job, everyone. Slowly, when you're ready, peel or bring your chest down onto the mat. A little bit more work for our back, chest, and shoulders this time. I want you to take the arms forward and bring your big toes together so they touch. Lift everything up. Now turn your palms to face in. So arms up, chest up, legs up, inhale. As you exhale, swim the arms back so everything's squeezed in nice and tight. This time as you inhale, I want you to take the legs wide as the arms reach forward and then exhale, swim them back, legs together. We've got nine more. Inhale and exhale. Eight, seven, six, Five, belly in, four, three, two, one. Lower it all down. Child's pose to stretch it out. So hands under the shoulders, take an inhale, and then exhale, stretch out your spine, hips back, forehead to the mat. Remember, child's pose is always available to you at any point in time throughout the practice. Listen to what your body needs. And from this child's pose, you'll make your way to down dog so you can rise up to tabletop. If you need to do some hip circles or a little free movement, whatever you need here, cat cows, meet me in a downward facing dog. And reset the breath in your down dog. Lengthen the tailbone high to the sky. Belly draws in and up. Hear the breath. 
Finish your next exhale, then as you inhale, rise high on the toes, two steps or jump, however you want to get to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. As you inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms all the way up, and then exhale, arms down by the sides. Surya Namaskar A with added on core work, and we're also going to add on a back bend here at the beginning. So sweep the arms up as you inhale. As you exhale, take a baby back bend, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, push the hips forward, and then inhale, close your ribs, arms up. Exhale, dive over the legs, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, step back, meet me in a plank pose. Pause in your plank and then start to bring your right forearm down, left forearm down, forearm plank, and then left hand, right hand back to plank. Left forearm down, right forearm down, right hand, left hand. You got it, so we're marching back and forth. If this feels like too much, you can always either hold a plank or a forearm plank. It's up to you, just keep going, stay with your breath. We are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, belly tight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Meet me in a plank pose and then move through a flow. Lower halfway down, chaturanga. Back bend, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. And breathe in your downward facing dog. One breath in. One breath out. And when the exhale is complete, rise high on the toes. Take two steps or jump top of the mat. Land in your half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Sweep the arms all the way up. And then exhale, arms down by the side. Samastitihi. Let's take two more rounds. Different core work each time. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, for, oh, we did the back bend, sorry. Inhale, take the arms up, take your baby back bend. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, dive it forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back, hold your plank. Feet hips width distance apart. Drop your heels to the right, twist, reach that left arm up. Left hand back down, heels to center, heels to the left, reach and twist. Keep going just like that. Try not to let those hips move too much. Really get that nice twist opening. Or not let the, you don't want the hips to drop. The hips are obviously moving, but you don't want them to be sinking down. So keep that belly in tight. We're just here for five, four, Three, two, one. Chaturanga or lower knees, chest and chin. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog as you exhale. You can always skip the vinyasas if you need to. Take a breath in, take a breath out. When the exhale is complete, rise high on the toes and take two steps or jump to the top of the mat. Half lift, inhale, hold as you exhale. Rise as you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, arms by the sides, one more round. Arms up, inhale, baby back bend, exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open the heart. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, dive forward. Half lift, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, hold your plank. This time, bring your feet in so you're in a hovering tabletop. Shoulder taps from here, so tap right hand to left shoulder, left hand to left shoulder. Tap, 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 tap. Keep going, tap, 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 tap. Try not to let those hips move around too much. Tap, tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Step back to plank. Vinyasa, lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, take that back bend. Down dog, 
exhale good job take a breath in and a breath out finish your exhale completely then rise high on the toes travel to the top of the mat half lift in the top inhale fold as you exhale sweep the arms up inhale and then as you exhale arms down by the sides of your body great good work hands to your hips you can either step or jump the feet wide so they're just inside the edges of your mat keep that belly nice and tight reach the arms forward in front of your shoulders and sit low squats start to pulse weight is in the heels shoulders long down the back energize through those fingertips 10 9 8 7 6 lift in 5 4 3 2 1 just keep pulsing and then we're going to add a twist so we're going to tap that right hand down the left arm reaches up back to center and tap so you're going to keep pulsing but you're just going to add on twist center twist center that's it twist center twist and center keep breathing center twist and center belly tight twist center twist and center let's go for ten nine keep going stay with it eight seven six five four three two one fold good job exhale grab opposite elbows sway side to side if you need to reset the breath slow it back down and then hands to the mat halfway lift inhale lengthen your spine as you exhale heel toe the feet hips with distance slide your hands underneath your feet for pada hastasana inhale lengthen and then fold as you exhale hear your breath finish your next exhale and then release the hands from the feet hands to the mat half lift inhale exhale step back hold your plank belly tight three limbs plank lift up that left leg in your plank pull the knee in to meet the left tricep take it back to plank and then bend your knee like you're going to put it on the ground for tabletop but don't take it out like a fire hydrant and down we've got five more just like that so it's back tricep back bend out and in back tricep back bend out and in just two more lengthen pull in back bend out and down last out tricep back bend out and down back and then all the way up to down dog split lift that left leg high to the sky bend the left knee and open the hip and then I want you to take three big circles with that left leg one two three and then reverse go the opposite way big circles one two three good job lengthen your left leg long and then as you exhale knee to your nose round and squeeze two more times inhale left leg up and back knee to nose exhale left leg up and back inhale one more knee to nose exhale inhale left leg up and back as you exhale walk the hands back to your right foot standing splits at the back of the mat breathe steady if you want to add on to your challenge you can grab the right ankle with one or both hands your choice keep the belly tight take one more inhale and as you exhale soften that right knee and you'll stand all the way up left knee into your chest hands in prayer now if you can I want you to keep the hands in prayer at your heart center if you need support you can interlock the fingers behind that left uh, thigh and we're going to take leg extensions from here so you'll lengthen and bend two three four five six seven eight nine 
10. Arms up, inhale, straighten that left leg. You'll step to the middle of your mat and you'll pull the right knee into the chest and flex the right foot and come into a figure four, fly the arms back. And then we're going to do this with breath. So inhale, come back to one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, flex the foot back to figure four. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And we'll just pulse here, breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up, right knee to chest, right foot steps to the top of the mat, hands in prayer. Hinge into warrior three. So upper body tilts down, left hip parallel to the mat. Breath is steady and smooth. Once you've got your balance, we'll prepare to take curtsy squats. So take an inhale, and as you exhale, you'll bend your right knee and bring the left knee behind. And then inhale, come back to warrior three, all the way back. Four more. Exhale, and inhale. Three more. Exhale, inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, and inhale, good job. As you exhale, start to take the arms back. Interlock all 10 fingers, squeeze the palms, bend your right knee and land your left heel down. So you're setting up for a humble warrior. So left, left, left heel is down like warrior one. Lift the chest, look up, inhale, exhale. Humble warrior, dive forward. Let the head and neck be heavy. Stretch out your shoulders. Try to keep that left hip square to the top of the mat. Steady with your breath. Slowly bring the hands to the lower back. Release the bind, stay low. Hands inside of your right foot, heel toe the right foot to the right edge of the mat. Left hand down, reach the right arm up and twist. Keep the belly nice and tight. And then come onto the knife edges of both feet. As you exhale, dip the hips down, reach that right arm to the back of the mat. And as you inhale, arm up and over, hips lift. 10 or nine more, exhale and inhale. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now come back to your lunge. Reach that right arm straight up to the sky and then step into a side plank. Right foot stacks on top of left. I'm going to turn so you can see me. So meet me in a side plank. Lower the bottom knee down if you need to. And then we're setting up for wild thing crunches here. So I want you to lift the right leg up, step it behind you so you're in a wild thing. Right arm stretches up and over the ear, inhale. And as you exhale, elbow to meet the knee and then back to wild thing, inhale. For nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that nice wild thing, really get that back bend and then meet me in a high plank. Both hands down. High plank. Listen carefully to my words. We're gonna do a little tricky transition here, but let's give it a go. Right into side plank on the other side. So I want you to plant your right hand under shoulder, roll up into a side plank and start to lift up your left leg. And I want you to pull the left knee into your chest and step it all the way to the top of the mat and open into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So the left hand will plant outside of your left foot and you'll stack the hips and find your balance. A block is useful here if you need it or if you've got it at home. Really extend through that right heel and if you've got the range of motion, you can bend the right knee and grab the top of the foot for Tapasana, the bind. Breathing into that balance. 
and then slowly re-extend that right leg nice and long and we're landing in goddess pose. So you'll bend that left knee deeply and you'll softly land the right foot down, heels in, toes out, hands in prayer at your heart center, goddess squat. Let's start to pulse here. Little pulses up and down. Upper body back so your spine stays tall. Belly draws in and up, navel to your spine. Shoulders away from the ears. Breath is steady and smooth. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay low if you can. Cactus those arms, goal post your arms, inhale, and as you exhale, you'll stand up and you'll close the arms in, and then inhale, back, sit low. For 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and then hands to hips, fold forward, and then any variation here. If you want to, you can grab the big toes or the outer edges of the feet. You can also just let the upper body be heavy or walk the hands behind you. Whatever feels good here. And just breathe into the shape. Try to stay connected to your rhythm of breath as much as possible, even when we're going into the faster pace movements. Last exhale. Hands to the mat, half lift, inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, walk back to the top of the mat and bend that left knee deeply so you're in a runner's lunge. Lengthen your heart forward, inhale, and then as you exhale, we'll take extended pyramid pose, so straighten that left leg. It's fine to stay up on the ball of the back foot. If you're at home and you've got blocks, you can place blocks, one on either side of the left foot. If you're very flexible, that back heel can come down. You might even be able to walk the hands back behind you. Your choice here. Last exhale. Hands to the mat, half lift, inhale. As you exhale, rebend your left knee. Keep that right hand down and we'll take a twist. Reach that left arm up. Take an inhale. Listen, as you exhale, you're gonna pick up that right foot and you're gonna pull the knee in to meet that right tricep and then step it back to the lunge. Let's go nine more. In and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Place that left hand down and then you can move through a vinyasa or you can skip it and just step back to downward facing dog. Your choice. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Great, good work. Breathe in your down dog. Hear the breath. And then we'll do that same sequence on the other side. So we start with that left leg in a plank pose and then lift up that right leg in your plank. So remember the movement is knee to tricep, take it back, bend the knee like you're going into tabletop, but don't, and then take that fire hydrant out and down. So back, in, back, bend the knee, out and down. We do five total, three more. Back, tricep, back, bend, out and down. Two more, take it back, pull it in, take it back, bend the knee, up, and down, one more, back, pull in, back, bend, out, and down, take it back, and then lift into a down dog, split right leg high, bend the right knee, open the hip into scorpion dog, and let's take those leg circles, big circles, one, two, 
three, and then reverse. One, two, three. Straighten that right leg, hip square. Knee to your nose, shift forward, round and squeeze. Inhale to down dog split, two more. Knee to nose, up and back. One more, knee to nose. All the way up and back, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, start to walk the hands to the back of the mat and find that standing splits at the back of the mat. Remember, you can always add on to the challenge by grabbing that left ankle with one or both hands if you want the balance challenge. Keep that left or right leg squeezing nice and tight. Breath is steady and smooth. One more inhale. As you exhale, soften your left knee and stand all the way up with your right knee into your chest. Find that balance. If you can, do these leg extensions with the hands in prayer at your heart. If you need support, you can interlock the fingers behind your right thigh. 10 of them, lengthen and bend. Nine, belly in. Eight, press into the big toe mound of that left foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, straighten that right leg, reach up, step to the middle of the mat, pull the left knee into the chest, flex the left foot, figure four, sit low as you exhale. We flow with this, four more rounds. Inhale up and exhale back. Last three, exhale, two, exhale, one, exhale, and let's pulse. Angle your left toes to the left, pulsing, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stand all the way up, pull the left knee into the chest, arms reach up, Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Hands in prayer, hinge forward into your warrior three. Keep that belly tight, get your balance, right hip pointing down, and we'll take those curtsy squats. Just five of them, nice and slow, inhale. As you exhale, left knee bends, right knee comes behind, and then inhale back. Four more, exhale, and inhale. Three more, exhale and inhale two more exhale and inhale last one exhale and inhale as you exhale start to fly the arms back interlock all ten fingers squeeze the palms land your right foot down so bend that left knee right heel down setting up humble warrior lift the chest as you inhale look up and then as you exhale dive forward let the head and neck be heavy inside of your right foot. Try to keep that right hip square to the top of the mat as much as possible. Dig into your right heel. Keep the breath steady and smooth in and out through the nose. Next exhale, hands to the lower back. Release the bind, stay low. Hands inside of your left foot. Heel toe the left foot over to the left edge of the mat. Right hand plants, twist, reach that left arm up to the sky. Great job, now come onto the knife edges of both feet and let's do those hip dips here. So dip as you exhale, reach the left hand to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift and stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Good job, now bring that left foot back down, come back to your twist, and then we'll meet in a side plank so the left foot stacks on top of the right. Modify by lowering the right knee down. Step into wild thing, lift that left leg up and step it behind you, and stretch that left arm up and over the ear. Good job, take an inhale. Wild Thing crunches as you exhale. Elbow to knee the knee, and then back into Wild Thing. Nine, eight, press the mat away. Seven, you're doing great. Six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Enjoy that back bend. Lift those hips, press into the ball of that left foot, and then meet me in a high plank. Left hand plants, left foot back. Find that plank pose, and then we'll go right into side plank on the other side. So left hand directly underneath your left shoulder. Roll open and stack with the right foot on top. Reach that right arm up. So we're transitioning. Just start to lift that right leg. Pull the knee into your chest all the way. Step it to the top of the mat. It's okay if it takes a couple of steps. Right hand outside of the right foot and open up into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Lengthen, extend through that left heel or bend the knee, grab the top of the foot, go for that bind. Whatever feels best in your body today. Maybe you even practice hovering the fingertips. Use your core to stay. If you have the bind, re-extend that left leg and then bend your right knee. Let's land in the goddess pose once again. Heels in and toes out. You guessed it, start to pulse, hands in prayer. 20, 19, keep that belly tight, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stay low if you can, reach those arms up, then take your left arm under your left rib cage and your right arm up, sort of like ballerina arms. Take an inhale and then as you exhale, switch that arm variation and I want you to lean to the right and then lean to the left. So you're gonna use those arms, leaning to the right and to the left. Stay low in those legs if you can. We are just here for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finish both sides and then hands in prayer, sit low and then burst open to star pose and take those hands to your hips. Second time, lift the chest, look up and fold. Same variation you took last time or take a different one. Maybe this time you grab for the outer edges of the feet or the big toes. Breathe into your upper body. Just let your spine lengthen here. Slow down the breath. Last exhale and then hands to the mat as you inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, walk it back to the top of the mat. Bend your right knee deeply. Runner's lunge, lengthen your heart forward. Inhale, and then as you exhale, straighten that right leg and fold into your extended pyramid pose. Any variation that feels good for your body today. Breathing into that right hamstring. Great job, everyone. Last exhale here. As you inhale, start to rebend that right knee, left hand plants, reach that right arm up and come into the twist. Strong in your core. So we're setting up to take those knee drives. So take an inhale, you'll stay twisted and you'll exhale, drive that left knee into the left tricep and back for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, land in your lunge and then right arm swims around. Move through a vinyasa or skip it. You can just step back to down dog. If you're done with the vinyasas, no worries. Either way, we meet in a downward facing dog and we pause to reset the breath. Belly pulling in and up. From down dog, like we did earlier at the beginning of the class, I want you to drop the forearms, if you can at the same time, right down onto the mat. Dolphin pose. We are going to walk the feet back into a forearm plank, and then walk the feet up into a dolphin pose. And we are gonna keep going with that motion for about a minute here. So, if it's too much, you can either hold dolphin or a forearm plank. 
but I want you to practice building this strength. It'll eventually help you come into inversions like pinch Mayurasana. Walking the feet all the way in, hips all the way up. Walking the feet all the way back, hips all the way into your forearm plank. Dig the elbows specifically down into the mat. We're about halfway there, guys. I know, stay with it. Belly tight. Last 15 seconds. We've got five, four, three, listen, two, on one, meet in a forearm plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips down, Sphinx pose. Listen, if you needed to take a break at any point in time throughout any of that, no problem. That was a lot, but that's how you build the strength to eventually go upside down. So just pause in your Sphinx pose and breathe. Slow it down. Nice job. All right, lower down onto your bellies and let's take a few back bends. Interlock all 10 fingers at your lower back. Point your toes and lift everything up for Salavasana Locust Pose. Breathe, keep your gaze down. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, take your left ear to the mat, gaze right, just rest the arms, big toes touch, rest, breathe. And then chin back to center, bend your knees and grab the tops of the feet from the outside for Danyarasana floor bow. If this doesn't feel good in your body for any reason, you can take a second set of what we just did, locust pose. But if you can, bring your knees. You don't want your knees to go wider than your hips, so bring your knees in a little bit. Relax your shoulders and arms, no tension there. And just let the kick open the chest and the shoulders. Breathe into it. Keep the belly tight. Kick up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out, right ear to the mat, gaze to the left. Big toes touch, heels apart. Nice job, everyone. Chin back forward, hands under the shoulders. Press yourself up, plank pose, and then walk your knees in so you're in a tabletop pose. Let's take a round of cat-cow to reset. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, look up, and then exhale to round. Back to a neutral spine, and then walk your hands back to your knees. We'll take one more back bend here, camel ustrasana. If you need to, you can tuck your toes. That'll give you a little more support. Otherwise, tops of the feet down. Slide your hands as though you're sliding them into your jeans pockets. Keep that core nice and tight. Push the hips forward as you take your gaze up. And that might be enough for some of you. If you've got the flexibility, you can reach the right hand for the right heel, left hand for the left heel. If you're very bendy and it's okay on your neck, you can let the head drop back. But if that's too much, just keep the gaze up. Push the hips forward, puff the chest up. Hold for five. Breathe for four, three, two, and one. One hand at a time to the lower back. Slowly bring your upper body up. Slowly sit back on the heels, hands in the lap, palms face up. Close the eyes and just pause to receive. Softly open the eyes and start to walk the hands forward for puppy pose. So for puppy pose, you want your knees in line with your hips. And ideally your chest and your chin are down on the mat. This is a great shoulder opener. It's also an opening for the upper spine. If it's too much to have the chest and chin down, the forehead can be down. But hands are walked as far forward as you possibly can with the knees in line with the hips. And just breathe here.
finish your next exhale. And then as you inhale, slowly start to come forward. Walk back into your tabletop pose. Thread the needle, reach that right arm up as you inhale. And as you exhale, reach it all the way underneath the body. And come onto your right shoulder and walk the left fingertips forward if you can. I'm gonna give you lots of options here for this stretch. You can stay here or you can wrap the left arm around and go for a half bind, grab the inner edge of the right thigh. Or if you wanna add even more, you can lift your left leg up and take the left leg off of the mat to the side. If that feels nice. Some people might even be able to reach and grab for the left ankle, but don't strain your body. This is supposed to feel like a nice stretch. few more cycles of breath. And then slowly, if your foot was out to the left, bring it back, left knee back onto the mat, half binds release, left hand by your face, sweep that right arm all the way up to the sky, right hand down, and then you just switch sides, reach that left arm up, thread the needle all the way through. Walk the right fingertips forward if that feels good, or maybe you just need to have the right hand there. You can half bind, or you can also add on, pick up that right leg, extend it all the way out to the right, and place it down onto the ground outside of your mat to the right. Some of you might be able to grab that right ankle, but not, don't have it be, it shouldn't be painful. Breathing into this stretch. If you have the right foot out to the right, bring that right knee back onto the mat. Half binds release, right hand by the face. Left arm sweeps up to the sky. Left hand back down, you're back in your tabletop. Take your right leg back hip height and then pull your right knee into your chest and scoop it around so you're coming into Gomukhasana. So that right knee will come in front of your left and then you'll take your feet wide and you'll just walk your hands back. It's a hip opener here. So for a lot of people, they end up looking kind of like this and that's okay. I just want you to breathe in it with a tall spine. If you're not feeling much of anything, you can fold forward. That will give you a little more. If you wanna add a shoulder opener, you can reach that left arm up and bend the elbow and you can either grab for the elbow or if you've got it, you can go for the bind. And if you're still feeling nothing, you can fold forward for the full pose. Listen to what your body needs today. Maybe you're just here. Don't push it. If you took the forward fold, start to come out of it. Come back to the tall spine and then walk the hands forward and we're just gonna come right into the other side. So unhook that right knee, take the left knee back, left leg back, pull the knee in, hollow the belly and bring it all the way in front. Take the feet wide, hips back, left knee is on top of right and then take your variation. This side, it would be the right arm that comes up right elbow bends, you can grab onto the elbow and get that shoulder stretch or go for the full bind. And if you're still feeling nothing, you can always take the full pose forward fold. Slow, deep breaths. Nice work, everyone. If you took the fold, start to come up slowly, meet in a tall spine, and then this time, fingertips behind you, shift your weight back, and just unhook your legs. Flex the feet and float both legs forward, float the arms forward, and I want you to go as slow as you possibly can to come down onto your back. Hollow the belly, dig those heels down, and we're gonna go slow for 10. Nine, belly tight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down on your back. 
Hug both knees into the chest. Rock side to side a few times, and then we'll just end with a simple twist. So let your knees cactus your arms, or you can take the arms fully out to the sides, and just let your knees drop over to the left. Gaze over the right shoulder, maybe. Exhale this side. As you inhale, bring both knees back to center. And as you exhale, just let those knees drop over to the other side, perhaps gazing over your left shoulder. Last exhale here as you inhale, both knees back to center. One more time, exhale, hug those knees into the chest. And then your final savasana is waiting for you. If you have any closing shapes that you like to do in your practice, feel free to take them. If you need a happy baby or anything else on your back, feel free. Otherwise, just go ahead and extend the legs long and give yourselves at least a couple of minutes here to rest and to receive the practice in stillness. You release all breath control in Savasana. Just let the body be heavy on the mat. Close the eyes. Relax from the tip of the head to the tips of the toes. Relax your jaw. Let the tongue drop down away from the roof of the mouth. Be still. Feel free to stay longer in your savasana if you need it. If you'd like to finish seated, you can start to gently bring little bits of movement back into the physical body, wiggling fingers, wiggling the toes. You can rock the head side to side maybe, or stretch the arms over the head, whatever feels good for you, coming back from wherever your savasana took you. And when you're ready, you can roll to your right or to your left side and make your way slowly to a comfortable seat. If you need to sit on the heels, you can sit on the heels sitting on your shins or you can cross the legs. And just take a moment here in stillness to close the eyes, to observe the body, to observe the breath, to observe the mind. After all of that hard work, just notice the effects of the physical practice on the body and on the mind. When you're ready, bring your hands in prayer at your heart center, Anjali Mudra, and bow the chin to the chest, honoring your body, your practice, Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste.